dude. Look at that M4. That shit is heat. God, I love M4s. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about them, but them things is fire. What's going on, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. I know when you're first getting into the BMW world, I know you do probably a million research, which is what I did. But even when you do that, there's still a million things that you probably don't even know about. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you five things that you probably didn't know about your BMW 440. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure you guys go down below and subscribe to the channel. Is your side mirrors. You probably didn't know about this. I didn't know about this for the longest time, but when I found this out, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because I'm a person that loves to park in reverse. I don't really like parking forward. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I can't see it as well, but this feature is amazing. If you guys look on the side here of your door, you guys can see that um, there's like this little like switch looking thing. So if you have it all the way to your left and you put the car in reverse, you will notice that your side mirror goes down. This is great for seeing like curves or like anything like that because I'm the type of person that I don't want to scratch my rims. I don't want nothing on them. So having this like this is it's just amazing, especially for parking, so. Another great feature that you guys probably didn't know about is the going up and down of your windows just from your keys. As you guys can see here, my windows are all the way up. If you wanna open all of your windows with your keys, all you have to do is hold your unlock button. And you will notice all of your windows start rolling down. Oh, you can see the top one too. The top one opens up and all of that. This is great if it's like a hot, really hot day out and you wanna open the windows before you even get to the car so you can let some of that heat out. If you guys wanna put the windows back up, all you gotta do is hold your lock button and you'll notice that all your windows start to roll up. And like that, that's a great way. If you forget to pull up your windows and you're maybe walking away or something like that, all you need is your key to pull up all your windows and you will be good to go. All right, you guys, so this next one is if you're holding a whole bunch of stuff, man, like, you know, groceries or whatever. In my case, I just have a whole bunch of car cleaning products and leather cleaning and all of that stuff. This one's great if you wanna get access to your trunk and you don't have an extra hand, all you have is your leg. All you need to make sure is that you have your key in your pocket and then you wave your foot under the car and the trunk should unlock. I'll show you how. Yeah. All right, you guys, now that we're back in the car, so you guys see all these numbers here? I didn't really know anything about them. Well, I knew, but I didn't know that you were able to do what you can. So if you see all these numbers here, it goes one through, I think, eight. If you slide your finger over them, you guys can see that it, it goes through all of your numbers pretty much. You probably didn't know that you can set each and every one of those numbers to a specific thing, and I'm gonna show you how. If I wanna go to my sport display without pressing it, the sport button or or uh, my eco whatever all i gotta do is press the number uh eight which is what i set it to and when i press that it takes me to that if you want to have it for something else like the map or whatever it's pretty simple or you go to wherever you want to do so for example if i want to put it for uh let's see my vehicle if i just hover over it then you press whatever button you want to set it to. For example, let's set it to four. I press and hold four, which is nothing assigned right now. And you hear that little sound. And now if I uh, go back to the menu and I press four, it takes me directly into my vehicle settings. That is actually a really cool feature because that way you don't have to be pressing anything. All you go is press one of the buttons that you set and you should be good to go. So I actually really like that one. I didn't really know about that for the longest time. And once I found out, I right away put on my sport display. That way I don't gotta, you know, click a whole bunch of buttons to get there. And then I also put the map. So other than that, I didn't really add anything else because I don't honestly use anything else from the car like that besides those two things. And now that you guys know how to do it, make sure you go ahead and do it on your car. All right, you guys, this next one has to do with your service meter reset. If you guys want to let the car know that you did an oil change or anything like that, it's pretty simple, and here's how you do it. So there's a button on the side of your dashboard here, and if you press and hold this button and just wait a little bit, you will get a message like this, right? As you guys can see, actually, I got to do my brake fluid, so that's why it's yellow. If you guys can see right here, you can see that it says reset possible. 
Um, if you press it again, you can pretty much scroll through everything and say my engine oil is good, my vehicle check is good, my uh, front brake pads are good, and you can kind of go through this and you can see what you need to do a service for. Right now, I gotta do my brake fluid. That's why it's yellow. But if you guys um did something. All you gotta do is press and hold this again. For example, oil change or engine oil, and then once you see uh, reset, you press and hold again, and that's gonna reset the count on your mouse. So that way, um, the car know that you did the oil change, and that way you'll be good for another however many thousand miles you wait to do your oil change. All right, so guys, so I gave you five things that you probably didn't know about your BMW 440. There's one extra one that we're gonna actually put to the test right now, because. Um, I've never done this before, so I don't really know if it's true. I've seen it before in other cars, but I've never actually tried it in my car. So pretty much it, what it is is the car knows when there's something blocking the window and it won't go all the way up if you if you tried. So we're actually going to put it to the test right now and see if it's true. So I'm going to go ahead and put, what should I put, my arm maybe? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put my arm to block the window. Or my hand let me put my hand i'm gonna put my hand to see if it actually like stops from going all the way up and let's see what's up okay it really does stop i actually thought it was gonna hurt i was low-key scared because i actually never done this before which is why i didn't really add it to the list it was just kind of an extra one to see if it was true um, it is true, I guess. I guess BMW ain't lying. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video as much as I like making it for you guys. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe down below, comment any other video ideas you guys have, and don't forget to like the video. With that being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.